What's up everybody, Jesse here, or Game Over Jesse once again with my good friend Avrith to talk about some more speculation on Dragon Ball Super. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not, technically we're going to be debating whether or not five standing members will be left for Universe 7. So right now there is Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Gohan, and Seventeen. So the question that you're asking is whether or not they will all still be alive when it comes to the end of the tournament. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I, I have my reasons for thinking that maybe not, but then again, there's the whole advantage in numbers. Not to mention, most likely, at least Goku's going to survive. Yeah, so you think that there's a high chance that all five will be standing towards the end, or at least most of the five. I actually do believe that with, from how I've been looking at everything, I think the rabbit guy uh, from Universe 11 is most likely going to be fighting Frieza. Speed versus speed. Frieza's known for his speed, if nothing else. Um, Topa Atapa versus Gohan, because why not? <laughs> Gohan's strong, that guy's strong, let them play. Yeah, and then we've already seen a trailer, uh, well, for those who have watched it, there's already been like a sneak peek Spoiler warning. showing Goku and Vegeta taking on Jiren. And Vegeta actually gets a few hits in by himself, so... And that's not Ultra Instinct, yeah. that's straight blue. <laughs> yep. Have you seen that little preview? Oh, I definitely have, okay. and I'm like... Okay, what did you do, Vegeta? How come you're able to land some really solid blows on Jiren? Now, and then I, I have my reasoning why I think he did, is able to as well. Yeah, alright. So, unlike the past two discussions on how do we think the Universal Survival arc will end, who will make the wish, and what the next arc will be about, for this, I have to instantly tell you that you are wrong. Because oh. I think 17, within the next two episodes, will be eliminated. That's that's a bold claim right yeah. there. That's a very bold claim. Uh, I also think another person will be eliminated. Like, it'll come down to... Uh, let's say if it's Goku and Vegeta fighting against uh, Jiren at the very end. It's just those two fighting mm -hmm. Jiren. I think it would be something similar to uh, either what Vegeta did against Majin Buu, where he killed a self trying to kill Majin Buu by doing the explosion, or it'll be something akin to what Goku and Piccolo did to Raditz. Oh. So, either, like, you can kill someone, you're allowed to, but then you'll be eliminated as well. Yeah. But it doesn't automatically disqualify your team. So, in the one, uh, using the Vegeta as an example, they realize there's no way they can beat Jiren. So what happens? They end up somehow tricking Jiren into getting close to Vegeta, or Goku is holding him down um, somehow. We've seen Hit keep Jiren held in place for a few minutes. He was still able to move very slowly, but he was still in... Because he's stronger yeah, than time. In, in all sense of the word, he was kind of frozen in place. So, that would be enough to allow Vegeta, because we've seen what a Super Saiyan 2 version of Vegeta could do when he does his like super explosion or whatever it is. So yeah. imagine what a Super Saiyan Blue could do. True, and then, I don't think so, though. And then, he doesn't even have to kill him. He just has to get him off the stage. So if there's only a little bit of stage left that Goku's standing on, and Vegeta is able to explode and cause all of the stage, except the part that Goku's standing on, to disintegrate with him, and Vegeta kills himself, possibly kills Jiren... Um, or at least weakens Jiren, but Jiren still falls off because all of the stage is eliminated, and Goku's literally left standing on a floating rock. 
then I think that could be a, an odd but crazy way that it would end. Also, let's say there are three people left, um, whether it's like Vegeta is laid out on the ground completely weakened, Goku does the full Nelson on Jiren to kind of hold him in place like he did to Raditz, and that gives Frieza the opportunity to kill Jiren and Goku. Uh, like, I don't think Frieza was hesitate because that gives him the opportunity to do what he always wanted to do, kill Goku. And he also gets the chance to be the one who essentially wins the tournament. So mm. if you kill someone, you get sent to the crowd or what? Stands. Yeah, the stands. You're not necessarily being erased. So it could be something like that, or it could be uh, down to one person, and then Jiren kills himself, like they originally thought Goku killed himself with the spirit bomb. Like Jiren does an attack that's too powerful, it somehow gets reversed, knocked back to him, and his own attack kills him, because Goku and Vegeta figure out that they can't do it on their own. They're just not powerful enough, so they reverse his own attack against him. Um, so I think it's going to be a situation like that, but in no situation that I can come up with on how this tournament will end, do I see all five of them still left. Maybe three. Like, if it comes down to it, I would see Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza being the most likely, um, but I definitely see Gohan and Seventeen being kicked out. I... I'm slightly uh, against that, only for one reason. I don't think that Vegeta or Goku will need to sacrifice themselves. They have the advantage of numbers. No matter what, they've won the tournament as long as they got their people staying on. Yeah. That's not to say that no one's going to sacrifice themselves to take out one of the Universe 11 people, because I, I do believe that is a possibility. Yeah, 17 could do that to Toppo. Yep. Seventeen could do that to Tapo, or Gohan could do that to Tapo, and uh, I again the rabbit guy. I never remember his name. I never will. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I, I still think Frieza is the perfect person against him because Frieza was known for his speed, and Golden Frieza has not. It has been shown, but it has not been utilized. Oh, what the gold? <laughs> yeah, because it's like I turn gold for a second. Bop. Do a thing, and I'm not gold anymore. Now, uh, Frieza said um, that he's able to control it better ever since his time in hell. I don't know how that's possible, but I, well, he's, I'll he's accept it. Well, he's trapped in that cocoon. He, I assume he can still power up and like mentally train himself like he did whenever he said that he like played out tons of battles against Goku to try and kill him on like what would be the best strategy. Uh, we've seen Goku and Gohan doing that same thing with Krillin. Uh, one of them acting as Krillin and the other acting as one of the wolf people. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly don't think that uh, Gohan's going to go off their edge, at least not too easily, if only for the fact that he's their strategist. I think they're going to... Uh, I think... To break conventions, God, if they actually do break the convention of allowing Goku to take all the victory and give it to Vegeta, I doubt that, but hey. Dispo is his name. Dispo, there it is. Yeah. I, I do just think, um, I do have the I issue Which of, I think um, he, I know he looks like a rabbit, but he is the only one that closely matches whatever race Beerus would be. Yeah. I, I don't doubt that he might be pro probably part of the Beerus race. Like, they have the I same don't. colored skin, and, like, they look as similar as the Namics from the universe where they all absorbed each other, and they were, like, a darker color yeah. green. The universe six Yeah, they, Namics, they look yeah. just as similar as Beerus does with Dispo. But anyways, continue what you were saying. But, um, I think what's going to end up happening is... If they can't take out all of the last three of Universe 11, it's pretty much just going to time runs out. They got 10 minutes left 
And granted... That's about five more episodes. Dra- that could be five more episodes. That could be yeah. 20 more episodes in, of Dragon Ball Z. The, it could uh, be one more episode. In the Dragon Ball Z <laughs> Frieza saga, five minutes... I will never forget that either. Five minutes was like 20 episodes. Most of it was powering yeah. But up. that wasn't their fault, though. Like, they're doing a good thing with Dragon Ball Super to where the anime is a little bit... Like, they're allowing it to go ahead of the manga... Um, it's far it's far in leagues ahead of the manga I think the manga is doing its own thing at this point yeah uh, when I mentioned the tournament of the gods yeah so like with Dragon Ball Z they would stall until yeah. they found out what happened in the manga but with Dragon Ball Super they're like running side by side but one isn't waiting on the other Whereas in Dragon Ball Z, the reason it took 10 episodes to charge a spirit bomb was because they needed to find out what happened after he charged the spirit bomb so they could, like, make it into the anime. But now they, I guess they're working. They've been given free range, it sounds like. Yeah. All right. Which, you know, hey, trying to do a weekly manga is a bigger pain in the butt than most people would give it uh, the realization of. Yeah. But then again, a weekly anime is just as hard, so I'm assuming that the anime is pretty much all mm-hmm. written out and everything. Yeah, but uh, finish what you were saying, though. But what I end up seeing is it's the last mm-hmm. bit is going to be more or less if uh, they find out that they can't beat Jiren stalling for time. Now, I'd love it if Vegeta, uh, he ended up figuring out in Ultra Instinct, though, knowing uh, his luck, he'll figure it out and then get kicked off the ring because he ran out of power too quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vegeta, that, that's just your lot in life, it sounds like, but you are. A, but he, his character development has been far and away the most interesting to me. But, um... That, with, no, that notwithstanding, I do see it being more just... We have this now. Let's just stall for time and hold them off. Any attacks that you can do that will just hold them in place or, you know, delay them. Not to mention they can just save each other from falling off the stage over and over again, which they've shown that that's the best part about having numbers. You can keep saving yourself. I also have a theory about Jiren. Jiren has never been seen taken on that many opponents all at once, at least not as handily as he takes on a singular opponent at once. I have a belief that uh, Jiren requires focus on a singular opponent. That's why he, uh, instead of obeying his god of destruction, when he said, yeah, just take out all the rabble now that you've already beaten Goku, he instead just goes, meditation. And then Tapo and uh, Dispo are just kind of like, Okay, we'll play bodyguard here and not actually take out anybody, and we'll <laughs> let uh, Universe Seven take all the glory. Yeah. Even though that, even though that pretty much puts them at the disadvantage of they don't have the best warrior trophy thing going on for them. I don't know, but uh, I have a feeling it's just going to be if they find out Jiren's too strong, it's going to be them stalling for time. Yeah. And then 10 minutes goes out. And then and earlier you made the point that 17 doesn't run out of energy. Yeah, he, he's he uh, got that infinite energy matrix. So he could matrix, so continually he, run away. He could continually run away. He can continually fire key blasts. He can do whatever he wants right now. He He's uh, the best kind of contender because he can also go up to blue and act seemingly, and I say seemingly as, much, as best as I can here, go against it even though they... Yeah. From what we've been shown, he can handle his own against a Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, and Gohan can handle... Oh, is learning to handle Kaioken Blue, for crying out loud. That's what they were showing in his little training arc. Yeah. And he got more training since then, so who knows? Yeah, and plus we're the Saiyans in this fight. Uh... Whenever a Saiyan is injured and then heals, they come back stronger. Yeah. So potentially you... Goku, who's been like knocked down fifty times during this tournament and then like slowly <laughs> regained his energy, like theoretically he that could be Zinkai twice boost. yeah, he could be twice as strong as he was when he came in just because 
of how many times he's like went all out and then rested to recover, went all out again, rested to recover. Like that reminds me of my favorite Dragon Ball Z uh, offshoot manga that they've done, and uh, that's the one where it's Vegeta who comes to Earth instead of Goku. Oh yeah. What? And the only reason Goku was able to match Vegeta was specifically because that he abused the Zenkai boost. He kept having people hurt him and just getting <laughs> revived. Um, but that does seem to be likely because Goku keeps I get knocked down and I get up again. <laughs> And uh, I can only imagine because uh, he seems to be getting back to blue pretty quickly. All things considered, he's not taking like five, ten minutes of a. Okay, let me get a breather here. <laughs> he's just like, I'm up. Yeah. And then he's been the one that's like that we've seen fight against the most opponents. Yeah, so. and g- goodness knows, maybe Frieza's actually fought the most opponents for all we know. Yeah. Some, someone could have done it off screen for all we know at this point. Alright, and this brings us to our last topic that the teams are actually holding back. Alright, so mm. do another quick intro. The videos on this channel are funded by supporters on Patreon like you. If you're a fan of this channel and would like to join on videos, receive shoutouts, watch videos early, have your questions answered, or have your topic discussed on our podcast, please consider supporting on Patreon for these and many other rewards for just $1. Shoutouts for this video includes Link Use the Triforce, Rusty Caulfield, Lovable Christy, Give Time 15, Shadow to Us, Robbie Morgan, and Lunarium. I want to thank all of you for everything you have done to help support this channel. 